A new master's program in Singapore will be the first in the world to teach future healthcare leaders how to navigate climate change, and this includes cutting emissions in healthcare settings. The degree by the National University of Singapore was announced at the Singapore Pavilion at COP29. The healthcare sector emits more than the aviation and shipping industries combined. Claudia again with more. Such plastic wrappers ensure medical tools remain sterile and safe for patients. They also create a lot of waste. A big advocate for sustainability, eye doctor Chris Lim introduced these recycling bins to the department. There are 50 in total. If we look at the amount of carbon emissions that are generated from a single cataract procedure in the UK, for instance, it is equivalent to driving an internal combustible engine car for approximately 500 kilometres. So that's huge. But we are treating patients, but through the waste that's generated and also in terms of the carbon footprint of each individual surgery, we need to make sure that we are not harming the community that we are serving. The new master's program in sustainable medicine hopes to inspire more healthcare staff to implement such practices in their workplaces. The university says climate change is set to worsen diseases like dengue and malnutrition by 2050, increasing the load on the healthcare system. All the more hospitals and clinics should also strive to be more sustainable. The average hospital, we see that 25% of the emissions come from the medicines that we prescribe as clinicians. 20% come from our devices like our scalpels and our surgical implements. And so the course is about teaching future leaders where those hotspots are across the entire healthcare system and how we can act on them, how we can reduce emissions everywhere we look. Up to 50 students will form the first intake from next August.